What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're at Kith Miami with soccer superstar Christian Pulisic. How are you doing? I'm great, man. Happy to be here. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Yes, sir. Let's go. Christian, I want to go all the way back, Hershey, Pennsylvania. I like looked up research. I even checked with uh, mom and dad. There were no shopping malls even to get sneakers back then. Is that true? <laughs> it was tough. It was tough for me to get sneakers. Definitely tougher than it is now, I'll say that. And like, there was like no even Foot Locker or any big box back then. No, I was, uh, I was hustling, trying to find shoes wherever I could back in the day. And do you remember like what your first good pair was? Man, I'm trying to remember. I just remember, you know, right next to our garage, we had this little bench and it just became like my shoe wall. Okay. As I started to, you know, get more into sports and more into shoes, it just started to fill up and fill up. And I just had, I had too many. And then like indoor soccer sneakers, did you wear like the indoor soccer sneakers in the streets as well? Like, was it one for each thing? Yeah, for sure. Um, I remember rocking, you know, shoes like this with the flat bottoms, just yeah. going out on the turf and playing in those. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely grew up on that for sure. And it's funny because now we see like this big trend in like the Sambas all over the streets and stuff like that. What do you think it is about those retro classics staying power and it turning into like fashion shoes? Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know. It's just something about it, something about the look. I mean, you've seen so many basketball shoes become so popular just out in the streets now. Stuff like this, yeah. um, the Samba stuff that you mentioned. It's just a cool, trendy thing, man. And I just, I think it looks cool with a lot of outfits. And uh, yeah, I just like it. And then like to keep them clean, did you have like a process to clean the shoes? Like I know that even back in the day, white Air Force Ones was your thing. Now, now it's a little different, but like, would you try to get new pairs or would you keep them clean? That shoe rack that you had outside the garage? Oh, my mom knew all the tricks. She'd pop them in the washer, she'd bleach them. She'd do anything she could to make sure that when I needed the shoes nice and clean, um, they were nice and sparkling. So um, I definitely took care of that. Yeah, and then Luis Vigo was like the guy who you really liked coming up, but was there anyone on the pitch who style you really liked or were like inspired by? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, for me, like Pele was kind of iconic. Um, yeah. You obviously had um, the guys who just rocked like the Puma Kings, like the classic, like uh, yeah. what was it? Uh, like the leather, just something, something so iconic about like those shoes too. It's something that I've always followed. I've worn those cleats since I was, you know, very young. Yeah. You know, there's pictures of me when I was super young wearing that. And uh, yeah, I've just rocked them ever since. And what I like about the Puma King is like, it was the Copas, you know, I played soccer, not on a big level, but I played a little bit. I remember like the Copas and Diodora, but like the Puma Kings were right in there and like right. so much history, Pele. So that was kind of like your go-to growing up. For sure, the classics, man, loved it. We'll get to the Puma cleats later, but 2018, you get a chance to unveil the off-white cleats. Virgil, prolific designer, RIP. What was it like that collab and lacing those up for, for that game? Yeah, absolutely. I was super excited about that one. I think it's, I mean, iconic when they kind of mix the fashion and the sport brands like that. So I was super excited for that one. And that was just a pretty insane look. Is there something like added to it when like you have something rare on your feet? Do you like that feeling? Hey, I'm a big believer of, you know, look good, play good. So, I mean, if you feel comfortable with what you got on, you're feeling, you're feeling nice, you, you know, you, maybe your level goes up just a little bit. So Absolutely. Deion Sanders, classic, uh, classic line. And I remember when you left Nike for Puma, big news, you're on TMZ, on TMZ for the right reasons. It was really, really big news. What was it like signing that deal and, and kind of like the early days of that deal? I mean, I was over the moon for sure. I mean, Puma's obviously been an iconic brand that I, I wore growing up. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, with all the lines that they've done, with my cleats coming out, um, you know, you know, boots for the youth, um, a bunch of the stuff. Obviously, the classics, getting to wear the suede, all yeah. these cool sneakers. I mean, 
right away I definitely was was probably asking for too much, trying yeah. to get as many boxes in as I could, and uh, now I have a nice nice closet full of them for sure. What was like the biggest haul like when you got back from a game that you saw or like a, a shipment? Like if you could paint that picture, you know we have a lot of people with shoe deals on, but like sometimes right. it's tough to understand exactly how many boxes. I mean, that's tough. I, I think uh, once I could order online and I got that process kind of set up and I could get some of my whatever I wanted, yeah. the first shipment was definitely, uh, there were the people were coming regularly, bringing boxes <laughs> after boxes yeah. and just bringing as many in as I could. So I definitely filled the whole house with them. 50, 100 pairs, something like that? I'm definitely got to be past 100 by okay. this point. So. And is there anyone in the family or friends who is like always asking? Is there one person who's always asking the most? I know my mom is smiling somewhere back there. Okay. Uh, she's, she's, the, <laughs> she's the sneaker head. She wants all the shoes. You take her to a place like this, she won't leave without taking some shoes with her, that's for sure. I love that. And also, you said signing to Puma was really important because they were going to let you get your ideas out. How have you seen that come to fruition lately? Yeah, I mean, with my new, you know, the two lines that I've had in the, in the CP boots have kind of had, you know, ideas for my tattoos, you know, something, some things that represent me. I've had, a, you know, a big help in uh, creating the, the logo of these boots. Yeah. Um, like this, for example, yeah. these are some of my favorite colors, which I've spoken with them, the, the white, the navy, like I mentioned before, I've, you know, helped designing the logo, which they've done such a good job. Puma's helped me so much. I've got the, I've got this kind of tiger, you know, representation here from the tiger tattoo. Yeah. It's been incredible. I mean, to have any part in this, you know, process and having my own boot just kind of seems insane. I never would have, I never would have believed it. Talking more about cleats, one cleat I want to talk about, what was it like getting these? One of ones from the shoe surgeon, I texted him, I, there was a rumor that there was like 11 out there, he was like, no, those are one of one. Was that a special day in that pair, your love of Reese's? Yeah, very special day. Obviously, me being from Hershey, Pennsylvania, um, getting to, you know, get, get those Reese's, like, soccer yeah. cleats was just, I mean, insane to me. I always really wanted to break them out in one game, but uh, I wasn't I wasn't too sure about yeah. that one, how that would go down, but yeah, I thought they were pretty sick. And does mom have those somewhere on the mantle? It has to be a special pair, right? She's definitely got those. Okay. She's definitely got the one-on-one -on -one somewhere, for sure. And then another Puma cleat that I saw, I don't even know if you're aware of this. Did you know that these are going for almost two grand signed? Wow, I didn't even know Puma that. Puma <laughs> Ultra 1.3 cleats. Yeah, they're on like an auction cipher, $2,000. Is it crazy to see like how it's blown up? Yeah, I mean, I can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, just that my boot or my signature or whatever would be worth that much is crazy to me. But uh, I do love those boots, man. The Ultras have been uh, really good to me so far. And, you know, we have the new cleats here and we have the first iteration. What do you like kind of like how your line is progressing with Puma? Yeah, so, um, I mean, these ones were the first ones kind of getting ready for the World Cup, the red, white, and blue, kind of USA kind of vibe. I mean, it was incredible to see. And then you know how it is, as soon as the next, the newest ones come out, you're like, these are my new favorites. Yeah. And then automatically these ones, which I, you know, was lucky enough to wear in this, this latest tournament that we just won. So they brought me a lot of good luck. And uh, yeah, man, I just been loving, just being a part of this, uh, you know, designing this process, it's been incredible. Someone who's connected to Puma, maybe like the most outward facing, he's always in Puma. Jay-Z, have you chopped it up with Jay-Z? Like, you guys are semi on the same roster. Have you got a chance to meet him? Are you running into him at headquarters at all or no? Not yet, man. I think you might have a better shot than me, man. We gotta, we gotta set that up somehow. But uh, no, he's a legend. He's yeah. been rocking with the Puma as well, which I've seen, of course. And, yeah. and hopefully one day I'll, I'll get to meet him. Yeah, maybe we do a joint meeting, you know? I'm, I'm down for that. We have to talk Coach Burhalter. You know, we work for Complex, Complex Sneakers. He breaks out a new pair. It's immediately on Instagram. Is his collection really that serious? Have you seen other players or, co not coaches, but other players who have a better collection? Are you giving him that title? Man, as far as coaches are concerned, I think he's gotta be yeah. up there. He's uh, he's always, I mean, even when we're in camp, he's showing us pictures on his phone. He's saying, man, what, what do you think of these? Like, if I rock these? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, those are sick, coach, yeah. no matter what they are. But uh, now he's got a cool little collection, man. And, and I like that he, he comes out with a bit of style and it's different, man. Yeah. People talk about it and uh, it, I think it's cool. Is he trying to flex too much on the players or no? It's like, you let him have it. Yeah, I mean, Listen, someone can rock the, you know, we got all our cleats on and someone's yeah. got to rock the nice pair of sneakers, man. And then uh, he's the one that gets it done. Definitely. We're in Miami. Big announcement. 
a couple of weeks ago, Messi coming to Miami. What was like your first reaction to that? It's like, it's gonna be right in this area. Is, it, is that crazy? Like, what, yeah. yeah, what was your first reaction to that? I mean, just like everyone else, man, incredible. I mean, to have the biggest name in the sport coming to Miami, you know, playing in the MLS, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so exciting, man. Yeah. It's gonna draw people in. It's gonna help grow this sport. Kids are gonna go to games. They're gonna be watching Messi in the US. And hopefully it just, yeah, like I said, just continues to just grow this sport in this country. Well, talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what you're gonna take home. Let's go. Let's do it. <gasps> what can I help you with today, man? Yeah, so I'm I'm looking at these two right here, man. I love these uh, these high top little Clyde with the Ruigi collab. Definitely don't have these ones yet, so. For sure, these ones, and then I'm just sticking with the white and blue kind of vibe. These suede, you know, Clyde's again. So yeah, if we got those ones on my size, see. Hey, let me check that for you real quick, man. Size nine. Size nine. Good to go, Let's bro. Let's go, man. Hey, Dad, got we win this section? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with these uh, these Velo faces here. These this Puma one. Um, they're a little bit flashy, but I don't know. I think I I think I can pull them off. Hey, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. You find everything all right? Yes. All right, your total today is going to be 1,476 and 60 cents. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, there's one bag of shoes. And you're all set. Thank you very much. Have a good one. You too. So, Christian came through, told some great stories, got some new sneakers. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me, man. Good luck next season. Thank you so much. Bye.